Today, we're going to talk about coffee-related advice from Dr. Andrew Huberman. <laughs> Now, if you don't know who Andrew Huberman is, well, then I've got good news and bad news. The science behind this is clearly ridiculous. What I will say, is this good news, is that at the end of all of this, you can decide if you want to switch off Dr. Andrew Huberman's YouTube channel. Gone forever. Just gone. One of the best ways to ensure the sense of sleepiness is to wake up. Now, that's very compelling. But moving on, drinking coffee should give you a fuller, thicker head of hair. That's the kind of question I'm interested in asking and answering. And at the end of this, they should be able to see there is a correlation between drinking coffee and hair thickness. Here's what we're gonna do to test it. Every morning, within 30 minutes of waking, I must consume 150 mils of Nescafe combined with traditional darkroom chemicals. I've been a huge fan of weird ingredients for pretty much 16 years. I guess I've been drinking coffee since I was, what, five? I'll let it go. There's two things I'm confident to say. Two things. One is coffee. The other, uh... Stealing James Hoffman's AeroPress. Oh, it's very funny, isn't it? But moving on. Now, one particularly viral aspect of uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman's sort of advice is his morning routine. I should wake up in the morning. I should skip my morning coffee. I should drink a cup of disgusting green vegetable liquid and feel kind of special. I can do that because this video has a sponsor. I had a, a snake. Oh, that's very, very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to Adam Sandler for sponsoring this video. I feel like we've done some we've done some good science here today, but let me know your thoughts. But for now, I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a statistically significant day.